My name is Matthew Peets, and I am the owner of Propagate Labs. I'm also the director of the Regis Applied Craft Brewing Program. And I'm going to start a series today teaching brewers just a little bit about how to do some basic microbiology in their brewery. Today we're going to do a wet mount slide, and this is just a simple way to look at anything you've grown up on a culture plate or can find somewhere around your brewery. And to take a look at it under the microscope, see uh, what it is, uh, be able to identify it as bacteria or yeast, and get an idea of what kind of yeast it is. So the sample we're working with today is from a kombucha culture. Um, so this is just a sample of a kombucha culture that I streaked out on a plate. Um, you can tell there's a couple different colors of cell colonies. There's some white ones and some green ones, and then I've already streaked a couple off this place. The nice thing about this plate, you can see all the colonies are pretty separate, so it's going to be easy to pick one off. Um, to look at underneath the slide, underneath the slide and the microscope. So what we need today, other than this plate here, are some pretty simple tools. We need some glass microscope slides. These guys here. We're going to need one of these little glass cover slips. We'll need some water, and we'll need a pipette uh, to measure out the water and something to take the colony off the plate. So for pulling the colony off the plate, you could use a toothpick, you could use a pipette tip like we're going to use today, or you could use a sterile loop. Uh, if you're going to sterilize the loop, one of the good ways to do that is to use a, a homemade, pretty much Bunsen burner. You know, there's no gas to hook up a Bunsen burner to at your house, so you can buy one of these little propane tanks and put on one of these soldering tips, um, create a little flame and sterile environment for yourself. So this is a pretty easy procedure. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab some water. And I'll put a little drop of water on this glass slide here. You want to make sure you don't get too much on there. Um, it's pretty simple. You just need a little drop on there. And then what we're going to do is pull one of the colonies off this plate. Now there's two colony types. We'll take a look at both. I'm going to start by pulling one of these white colonies off of here. You know, it's, in as, it's as simple as coming down into this plate and grabbing one of these colonies off of it. Uh, so you can see I've got a little colony on the edge of my tip. I'm going to put it in the water here, kind of swirl it around a little bit, break it up. I don't need too much yeast um, to be able to see it under the microscope, so that'll be more than enough. Then I'm going to take my glass cover slip here and simply put it on top. And it's as simple as putting it on here at a 45 degree angle and letting it drop. You want to make sure you don't get any air bubbles in there. Um, and if you do, you can just you know, clean off the slide or get a new slide and start over. Pretty easy. We're going to bring it over here to our microscope. And this is the most challenging part of really using a microscope for anybody, and that's getting it in focus. Um, so don't be afraid of your microscope. You know, it's a tool that you're using. Uh, it's going to make you a better brewer. It's going to allow you to do cell counting look at cultures. Uh, we'll talk about gram sanding in a letter, later presentation. So it's a really powerful tool for you to be able to see what's going on in your beer. Um, so obviously the first thing we want to do is turn it on. And what this is doing, this light is coming up through the bottom. It's coming up through the bottom uh, underneath the slide and up into the eyepiece here. These guys here, these are our um, oculars. They come in different magnification levels. Uh, most microscopes have a 4 or 5 magnification at the lower level, a 10, and then a 40 or 50. And then if you've got a nice microscope, you've also got this oil lens that lets you go up to 100 magnification. Now, that's the magnification on the ocular here. You've also got these eyepieces, which add an additional 10x magnification. So if I'm looking through the smallest one here, which is 4x, I multiply that by the eyepiece, which is 10x, to come up with a total magnification of 40x. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on this guy. Now one of the easiest ways to do this is to try and find the edge of where the slide and the cover slip meet one another. And we'll flip to a picture of that real quick here. So I'm just going to crank this guy up. And once I've found that edge, I know I'm pretty close to being in focus and I can kind of fine tune it. Generally these microscopes have two dials over here on the side. One's going to be your coarse focus that lets you move that stage up and down quite a bit. And then you should have a fine focus that kind of lets you fine tune it. 
So now that I'm zoomed in with that 4x magnification, really I only need to use the fine magnet, the fine adjuster from here. So I'm going to swing my eyepieces, my ocular over, go up to 10x here, 10x on the ocular, times the 10x on the eyepiece brings me to 100x magnification. So I can already see a number of the cells here, which is a good um, indicator that we are um, looking at yeast because they're so big I can see them at 100x magnification. I'm going to flip up here to the 40x. Yeah, definitely looking at yeast cells here. Nice round cultures, um, probably wild yeast of some time type since they were able to grow on that plate. Uh, one thing I should note, this plate here, this is a WLD plate. It's differential auger um, that has cyclohexamide in it. It prevents normal brewer's yeast from growing on it. So anything that's growing on one of these plates, it's a good indicator that it's probably some kind of wild yeast, uh, which we've pretty much verified looking under the microscope. So now we're going to jump to a couple additional slides um, where I let you see underneath the microscope so you can get a better idea of exactly what we're looking at. So here is a look at that first colony type. You can see we've got nice round cells. They have a little bit of a uh, like elongated shape to them, but for the most part they're nice and round. Uh, however, since they're growing on that WLD plate, it's a pretty good indicator that these are wild yeasts of some type. Now we are going to switch over to the second cell type, the green colonies on the plate. And we're going to take a look at them at both uh, the 400x magnification and 1000x magnification, which we'll need the oil for. So here is a look at the cells at the 400x magnification. So I'm using the 40x objective and the 10x eyepiece to come up with 400 total magnification. You can see the cells are elongated, uh, kind of sausage shape. And then we're going to go ahead and flip up to them um, at the oil under the oil lens and take a closer look. Here is a look at those cells under the oil lens. So we're now at 1000 magnification. You can see they're elongated. They've got some odd shapes going on to them. Definitely some kind of wild yeast that we found in this kombucha culture. Thank you for taking the time to learn how to do a wet mount slide with Propagate Labs. I'll continue to add to this lecture series on YouTube as I have time available. And we'll continue to look at some cool cultures under the microscope and learn a little bit more about what makes our beer. Cheers.